Hello friends, I welcome you all again to the new lesson on MySQL. So in this lesson, we'll be learning about the joins. So joins plays an important role in various use cases which I have encountered. And uh, this, so let's say we have two tables or three tables or n number of tables, and each of the table has different data present. But what if we want to get all the data in just a single table and display our result in just in a form of single table so we'll be using join for that so as you can see uh, on the screen that there are mainly four type of joins which we use uh, in sql but there are a lot many other also we'll be seeing all the other joins special kind of joins and that comes into the advanced level of sql so we'll be looking into that also but uh, for now let us just look into uh, the these joints so there are mainly four type of joints inner join left left join right join and full outer join so we'll be looking into each of the joints into much more detail in the in in the course ahead let me start first with the inner join in this particular video so as you can see uh, in inner join so uh, i'll just uh, explain this with a simple example so let's say we have two tables table a and table b and then they have certain rows in common and uh, now what if we want to get all the rows which are common in both the tables so in that case we'll be using the inner join so as you can see in the diagram so there are two circles the two the two circle means there are two they are two different tables and then the common area between the two circles are being displayed so that means the uh, the common uh, output will would be displayed in our terminal so um, the common rows or uh, basically the primary keys would be ma matching in both the tables and then would will be getting the results likewise so uh, to better understand this concept let us directly move into our terminal and look into an example so for this particular inner join i have considered uh let's say i have a table a which uh, with two columns and in the first column i have my customer id and in the second column i have the customer name and in the table b in the first column i have the customer id and in the second table i have the order id of that particular customer now what if i want to get the data of the customer id the customer name and the order id which is placed by that particular customer so we'll be using the inner join in this case let's see so i have my term so we'll be creating two tables now first table would be first table would be the uh, the table in which we'll be having the customer name and the customer id create table customer details the first column would be the customer id and this is an integer the second column would be the customer name and this would be a var car character and that's it so there is a syntax or the uh, c is missing query is executed let's create another table name as order details this is the first column would be the customer id this will be an int and the other column would be an order id this would also be an int so let's do a select star on both the tables and let's see tables have been created successfully should come out as an empty set that's correct let's do a select star on the other details okay there's some spelling mistake It is also an empty set let us just add few data here insert into we'll add first the customer details first 
is the the uh, customer id and then the other column is the customer name add values one customer id is one customer one two customer two three customer four and then we have the five and then just name name of the customer is customer 5 and then I'll hit enter let's do a select star on customer details the rows have been updated let's add few data in the order details column so insert into order sorry order details first is customer ID the other is order id the values are let's say customer id 1 has the order id as 12 customer id 2 has the order id as 14 customer id 4 has the order id as 17 let's say there is a different customer uh, I mean the data is present in in our customer details but I mean uh, it is not being reflected here in so let's say there is a customer who has he, who has the customer ID as 8 and he has an order of order number is let's say 18 uh, and then we'll add another customer who has an ID of 10 and uh, the order number is 21 say 5 has an order number of 19 that's it I think that would be enough let's just display the data in of order columns yeah it successfully came now as discussed so we'll be uh, getting the output of the customer ID the customer name and the order ID placed by that particular customer so we'll be uh, let's see by doing this the inner join so we'll do a select we want to output the customer ID in the first column then the customer name then the order ID placed by that particular customer from so we'll be giving the first table name so our first table name is customer details then we'll be telling our code what join we want to perform so here we'll be performing the inner join and then we'll have to give which table are we going to inner join it then we'll have to write on so on uh, it, it, it is just a condition on on which table are we going to join both the tables on which uh, column are we going to join both the tables so there must be a common column in between both the tables so we'll be mentioning that particular thing here so on and then we'll be mentioning the common table customer id is equal to customer id now in the both the tables uh, the the common com common column name is kind of same L so to distinguish this let us give some alias name to the tables and then we'll be referencing the column names from those particular alias so i'll be giving so
So I'll be giving the customer details table as alias A and the order details table as alias B and the uh, and let's say I'll, I want this particular customer ID to be matched from table A likewise from table B and then these columns from where we want so here also it is uh, necessary to mention so A dot means uh, this particular column would come up from the table A B dot means that particular column would come from table B so a dot customer so as we as we know that uh, customer details column is uh, has been given an alias a so and al and the customer details column does not have the order id value so it does not make sense to give a dot order id so we must give the table which contains that particular column so it is the uh, table b in this case that's the order details column code is written let's hit enter and get the results so you can see uh, the output has come and it is it's coming as the way we want it so customer id 1 has the order id as 12 customer id 2 has the order id as 14 customer id 4 has order id 17 and the customer id 5 has order id as 19 so you must be wondering why the other customer id columns have not come up so the main reason behind that is because they they could not find the uh, the matching values or common rows between between both the tables so i'll just do a select star and that would give a better picture so select star from order details okay some spelling mistake and I'll do a select star from customer details so you can see uh, the in both the tables we have the customer ID column but what are the common common things so one is present two is present one is present two is present four is also present but eight ten are not present so therefore in our result eight and ten has not come up because in both the tables there are uh, there in in one of the tables we do not have a have the entries for eight and ten so that is the i mean th those customers have not placed any order yet so therefore their data has not come up till now when we are doing the uh, when we are doing the inner joint so that's the that's the results in the uh, result in this particular case so i hope uh, this this has uh, proved uh, that inner joints can be used in all those cases where uh, we want to get all the common entries in in the tables which we are matching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this particular video and uh, this has improved your concept on inner joints in SQL. We will be moving forward to the next lessons on uh, joints in SQL and we will be looking into much, uh, much more other joints which are available in SQL. So I hope you the best and keep learning. Thank you. Meet you in next video.